Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're at the greatest muscle car show on the planet, the Muscle Car and Corvette National in Rosemont, Illinois. There will be some details in the text so that you can make sure you make this show as well. And I'm with my friends from the East Coast. Pam, good to see you. Good to see and you, And Gary Beinke. Now, this couple, well, to say creative would be, you know, probably an understatement. This is not a car that has ever been created until you put it together, Gary. So, Pam, share with me a little bit of the story. How did this all start to come that you started to make 1971 Daytonas and Superbirds? We have the street versions of the cars that we had found plans. A friend of ours that was in, in the Chrysler on the Mopar work field had found some plans and shared them, and then we built a couple of street cars. And the street cars are fast and they were here a couple of years back, but what would be more fun to build some cars that could go really fast? So, so, you was... so Gary, you decided to start to build a 1971 Daytona and Superbird. Yeah, we took a vacation, went out to SEMA in Vegas, we did the Richard Petty driving experience, did 18 laps, and got the bug from there to want to go fast. <laughs> so we can't do it on a NASCAR track, but we can do it land speed racing, so we decided to build the sister cars to the street cars and do them full race and uh, go over 200 miles an hour. And Pam, how fast have you gone in the car we're going to feature now? 201 miles per hour. 201 step with me, please. So here is the 1971, as my son would say, Mr. The King car. Yes, that's right. The Richard Petty 71 version. And that's, well, Spectacular. Thanks, Lou. So, holy cow, take a look at this and just let your mind kind of set there for a moment. You can see Richard behind that. Now, what's the reaction when you're in this car? I mean, do the, the, the where does this car come out besides the muscle car in Corvette National? Well, we've taken it to different NASCAR tracks to do parade laps. Well, it has done some ride-alongs up at Landspeed. Yeah, we've done uh, Landspeed racing with it. Okay, so you're telling me about this car as far as speed. Right, so we, um, we ran it at 201 miles an hour, set a record on the class for the engine size and the body style. And then after that, we wound up giving people ride-alongs. So it started off at about 150. We're supposed to be the maximum speed we would take people this car as well was wind tunnel tested. I'm going to show the trunk sure. here. And, and Richard Petty's approved this or? No, we have, art <laughs> we have artistic <laughs> license. Um, replicated the, um, gotcha, the car. Gotcha, replicated the car to, to look exactly like it. Except Darren says the nose and the wing. Gotcha, okay. So there's our fuel cell. And we'll take a look at the, uh, why does it have, uh, a light in the back. I see like a uh, brake light. Sort of brake light. We put them in both the race cars when we're on the racetracks, and him and I run pretty tight nose to tail. Yeah. We need to know when the person in the front is tapping the brake. Gotcha. Right. All right. So let's uh, open this one up. The layout inside is very similar to the K and K. It's done that way intentionally so that. No matter which car we're doing land speed racing in, your right hand knows exactly where every single switch, the shifter, the fire extinguishers, everything. I like the pistol grip shifter. That's pretty cool. Let me just show the interior here. This is pretty, this is the same as the K and K. You build them the same, and you know when you get in where the fire suppressant is, where the parachute is, where all the. So, Toggles so, are. so often my wife, when we're getting in the car, tells me where the parachute is in the car and things like that. <laughs> Very important. <laughs> All right, let's open up the uh, engine compartment. Now, we don't have a 305 cubic inch under there. We have something close. Something close. The idea behind this was that if this car was to run in NASCAR back in 71 with an aero package, they mandated 305 cubic inches, which would have been a small block. So. We got ourselves a small block, but it's an R5 P7 NASCAR engine, 358 cubic inches, makes 875 horsepower, 8800 RPM. And we actually created a build tag for it. 
and this engine we converted to fuel injection as well. And the reason we did for both is that if we run at different altitudes, we want the computer to keep the engine safe, make sure that mixture is going to be exactly where we set it. Yeah. And both cars have been chassis tuned, chassis dyno tuned, so we know exactly what the ratio is on the load. She's already in. We don't want to slow down progress. I think I got a shot of the very front of it, and I want to make sure I get that. Now, this isn't as aero as the, as the Daytona version with its nose for the downforce, but uh, in the rear clip, the aerodynamicist in the wind tunnel said when he had asked Chrysler to make a better greenhouse of the rear window, more like the, Day the Daytona, Daytona's in the Charger 500s, Chrysler had said, well, they had already really tooled for the rear window. So we cheated the rear glass just as the aerodynamics is did asked in the blue car and it has a little more to the back end for what it um, lacks in the front end with what they wind tunneled. Out. These function as headlights loose so that this will still be a road course. Really? The suspension on this car is a modern day tubular coilovers, uh, full link rear so that we can actually road course this car if we want. And if it's raining, we have an ability to put a wiper on it as well as take the covers off and have the headlights yeah, on. We have the clear lens as well. So it's uh, the triathlete. So gotcha. it's land speed, engine racing, and road course. What fun we have with our friends out east. Thank you, Pam, very so much again for the creativity the genius and the beauty of these cars. Thanks for being on my car store. Thank you, Lou. You'll have have a great stay, night. You'll have to stay tuned because the next car we bring here is a 300 mile an hour car. 300 miles an hour. Stay tuned to the channel. Thanks, guys. Thank you.